All right, let's talk about what's happening in Taiwan. Uh, search and rescue operations are underway there after the strongest earthquake the island has seen in 25 years. At least nine people are dead, hundreds injured, and dozens trapped under destroyed buildings. The 7.4 magnitude quake shook the island's east coast during the morning rush hour. MTS Tibe is following all of this for us. Parts of a building crashed to the ground as people across Taiwan were getting ready for the morning rush. Inside cafes and bars, destruction. Panicking patrons as the 7.4 magnitude earthquake rocked the island nation. The force of the quake was so powerful, some buildings tipped onto their sides as some of the smallest survivors were carefully rescued. Things just started to fall off the building, this woman says. Everything's damaged. In the eastern coastal Hualien City, rescue workers had to use cranes to free people stuck inside damaged buildings. It was definitely a shock when it happened. Yoli Sabon from California had arrived in Taiwan just yesterday. We were actually sleeping, um, and we were definitely broken up by it because um, the whole room was shaking. We tried to find like somewhere to hide like, under a table, but we didn't have that. But it's the countryside which saw some of the worst damage. The force of the quake triggered serious landslides, blocking some tunnels, trapping dozens inside. But in Taiwan, earthquakes are common, and the initial panic quickly faded as the public were kept informed via cell phone messages and school drills saw some children put on protective head coverings as they waited for the all clear. Now, this is the most serious earthquake to hit Taiwan since 1999, when over 2,400 people were killed, 100,000 injured, and hundreds of buildings were destroyed. And while this quake hasn't caused anywhere near that kind of devastation, it has certainly caused an awful lot of alarm. Yeah, I mean, I was actually really surprised to see some of those buildings tipping but not collapsing completely. How prepared was Taiwan for, I mean, this is an earthquake I, pre I presume you can't really prepare for, but how prepared are they for earthquakes? You know, Emery, that's a really good question. And we need to make it clear that Taiwan is no stranger to powerful earthquakes, yet their toll on the island's 23 million residents has been relatively contained thanks to its excellent earthquake preparedness. Now, Taiwan lies along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Now, this is a line of seismic faults encircling the Pacific Ocean where most of the world's earthquakes occur. And so because of that, the Taiwanese government continually revises the level of earthquake resistance required of new and existing buildings. Now, this, of course, increases construction costs, but it also, as a government and as a nation, subsidizes residents who are willing to check their buildings' earthquake resistance and preparedness. Now, Taiwan also pushes earthquake drills at workplaces and schools, as we saw in my report, while in the media and on cell phones, they, reg they regularly carry notices about earthquake and earthquake safety all of which seems to have helped limit the damage and the casualties in this quake. Now, Marie. All right, MTS, thank you so much.